In the Middle East, some strange activity has occurred at a towering volcano which has not erupted in 7,000 years. Reports from several concerned locals first appeared regarding Iran's Taftan volcano on May 18th when social media footage portrayed the fumaroles from this volcano at gassing at an unusually high level to the point to create a strong gas plume visible from afar. This intense fumarole degassing further intensified during the next nine days when the strongest activity occurred, causing a notable sulfur smell probably from hydrogen sulfide to be detected in nearby towns. So, does this truly unusual activity mean that the Tafton volcano is reactivating? Probably not, although I have actually detected what I interpret to be fresh uplift at the volcano. During the last 12 months, the ground overlying the Tafton volcano has been pushed upwards by up to approximately 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches. A recent scientific paper also noted long-term slow ground deformation at the Tafton volcano, suggesting that there has been some magma slowly intruding at depth over part of the past 15 years at a minimum. As for the strong episode of fumarolic degassing, which has recently decreased once again, such unusually strong episodes of activity have been measured four other times since 1900, with their associated gas plumes often being incorrectly attributed as weak volcanic eruptions in various reports. These occurred in January of 1902, during a portion of 1914 and 1970, and April of 1993. You might note that a high distribution of these reports occur during April and May, and I do not think this is a coincidence. Other reports note that Tefton's fumaroles, while being continuously active, tend to produce its strongest bit of gas emissions during the late spring months of each year. This happens to mark the end period of when the vast majority of precipitation falls in the region, as between March and May, 53% of the region's yearly precipitation falls. This is my interpretation of what has recently been observed. Underneath the Tafton volcano, due to subduction of the Arabian plate underneath the Eurasian plate, magma has intruded into the crust and, at least during the last 130 years, perhaps more, has slowly accumulated at around 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles depth. This slow influx of magma has over time negligibly pushed the edifice of the volcano upwards through displacement, while at the same time generating large volumes of gas which feeds the degassing fumaroles. This gas in the at-depth magma chamber generally escapes fairly easily through cracks to the surface, but sometimes gets blocked and instead builds in volume at depth. Once enough pressure is reached, it forces its way through pre-existing cracks in the rock to the fumaroles, while at the same time not having enough pressure to force its way upwards to break overlying rock and generate an eruption. This triggers a strong degassing event, with magmatic gases escaping through a strong plume visible at Tafton's fumaroles. Once the pressure is lower and there is less gas present again in the magma chamber, the degassing event stops, with it taking at least 12 years, sometimes longer, for this event to repeat. As for the apparent smaller spike in gas emissions every late April or May, I suggest that after the heavy rainfall in those months that it takes several weeks for groundwater to seep into the ground, be heated indirectly by underlying magma transferring heat to overlying rocks which then heat the water, causing it to flash to steam and rise to the surface and be degassed at fumaroles. I do not expect Tafton to erupt anytime soon, but the fact that multiple sources have seemingly noted magmatic uplift during the last 15 years means further studies on this largely andesitic stratovolcano should be performed.